so. This might be harsher than usual. But still, I've been hinting this for a while, that for every theory on Alice in Wonderland I read about, or hear, or whatever, they are usually focused on Carol, his personality, controversies for mathematical work. Or on the world of Wonderland and its characters, like it being the inner mind, or a critic of the Queen of England, etc. Here, I'll say that we need to talk about the character of Alice first, and let us do something unusual for a children's point of view, and take it seriously. Her first thought is, what is the use of a book without pictures conversations? At first, I zeroed on the idea that a child would like the book to have pictures, normal. Then I thought that the conversations thing was weird. What book doesn't have conversations? But then Alice keeps wondering about school and lessons for the whole of the book, and the writer is a teacher. So it's a study book, which her sister reads during their time together, a time where she probably had to hang out with Alice. Let's also consider that Alice is very clearly a lady of some rank. Either her parents have money, or at least status, from her learning French, to her thoughts on Mabel, to her idea of once becoming the Duchess, and her having a nurse. But anyways, but since she's of some rank, and we already agreed she has many siblings, why is she playing croquet by herself? It is almost funny, almost like a joke, right? The kid that plays a sport by herself, like frisbee or catch. But here, she does it, and even calls herself a cheater by punishing herself in a very Victorian England way, boxing her own ears, which, while cute, makes it obvious that no one is spending time with her. Well, now let's talk about Dinah. I truly believe that she is a cat that Alice let into the house at some point and the dolls haven't noticed yet. Alice wonders if someone will feed her without her. She has nursed her at some point, and Dinah is very clearly astray, as she hunts. While a funny scene of Alice trying to tell the huntable animals about her super hardcore hunter cat. If you think about it, it's really brutal for Alice to see a cat eat another live animal in front of her, from birds to mice, like it is unlikely for it to not be filled with feather and hair, not to mention blood. Not for children to have seen, is my point. Then she also wonders if the nurse will let Dinah even come into the house, if it starts ordering people around. Like, does she know about a cat? Wouldn't she be the one to feed her then? Alice is a child. But, but Alice doesn't even have a hair design for herself. Modern kids, Alice's age, probably have hairstyles. I don't know but made by their parents. She doesn't seem to, and seems to think Ada's hair just goes in ringlets. Like, by itself? Like, does Alice actually have someone taking care of her? But let's also talk about her siblings. At least the two older ones mentioned are so hilariously occupied with studying that that's their whole mention until the end for Alice's sister. But now, going back to Dinah. The Cheshire Cat is clearly one of the friends she makes in Wonderland. Everyone else is very rude, and Alice spends the whole first half crying, actually, before even talking with the Mad Hatter and the Griffon. But the Cheshire seems to be free, talks with her, and seems to mostly respect her. Rather than get annoyed at her questions, he responds, even though weird. But now, the Cheshire was with a duchess, who had a literal danger house, which Alice still decided to head into, because that kind of rattle and anger might actually be familiar to her house. Or why would she go in? What do I mean? There we have a super angry, clearly working on a baby duchess, which as I hinted earlier, I think the baby pig might be a baby sibling for Alice. And that would mean that the duchess is Alice's nurse and now has to take care of a baby, aside from the super young Alice. 
while that might explain the anger, the next time we see her, she'll be very um, nicerly, technically, because the queen had threatened her for boxing the queen's ears. She's now much milder, trying to be a good role model, trying to fit morals into everything. Still, Alice has to interact in the weird party with no one she knows. Has anyone seen the anime Fushigi no Kuni no Alice? The anime is very centered on Alice's home life and how her parents keep boring her with adult events that she still has to attend. Still, even that anime doesn't go far enough and her brothers don't even appear at all. Now, all these comments of mine might seem random, but my point is that Alice as a character is not being cared for enough and she's bored. But let's talk about other things Alice mentioned. I mentioned that her parents have either money or rank. She's always in lessons, just like her siblings. Her dress is very cute, and the fact that she's so well behaved, like with a caterpillar and other characters, that she was trained basically, she has a nurse, etc. But she also knows mock turtle soup, which is made of cow rather than expensive turtles. Mock turtle soup was a more economical turtle soup, for they're not as rich as they appear. Alice has also tasted the cheapest fish on the planet, why well, think? The Queen of Hearts. She's very angry at every character she meets, but she would like to play croquet with others. But her bad temper and weird way of playing makes it so hard that no one ends up playing for long. The story also makes it obvious that Alice and the Queen have that same line about croquet at their ears being boxed. Going back to the previous theories that Wonderland is Alice's inner mind, the Queen is both her daily increased anger tied to the fact that Alice is beginning to think that her loneliness is her fault. When you are little, you will be told that if you cheat or don't play nice or don't share, people will no longer want to play with you and you'll be alone. It makes sense. Play nice, everyone have fun. Cool. But let's look at Alice again. She's aware enough to even punish herself for being what she calls bad and tries to be a good girl constantly. Still, she's bored by all the lessons and clearly alone enough to play croquet by herself. Even though again, she has many siblings and might have friends at school or something. That's why I keep stressing so much the first line from her in this book is what is the use of a book without picture conversations as her sister is using Alice's time to get ahead in studying. <laughs>